Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. As promised, a second Team of the Year look ahead promo preparations review video today. This one we're going to look at an in-depth, really in-depth market stuff on what happened last year in FIFA Ultimate Team or the content that came out during Team of the Year. Market movements on people building teams after Team of the Year, all the lightning rounds coming out, and SBCs coming out as well. Talking about stuff that could happen on the game in terms of uh, investments we could make and just general market movements to look forward to a week or so before Team of the Year does come out. And again, I'm releasing these videos a little bit early, but just because I want you guys to get your minds right about Team of the Year. All right, That's the main focus with these videos, because Team of the Year, again, is a huge promotion on FIFA Ultimate Team, and this year, it looks like it's, it could be better than ever. I mean, all the promotions uh, look like they could be better each year, and uh, sometimes they do, sometimes they disappoint, but Team of the Year could be a massive one this year. Last year, Team of the Year was great. It was it was solid. The upgrade packs really made it. The Team of the Year, um, the players that were in Team of the Year were great. The stat boosts were phenomenal. Uh, so today, we're going to look at some of that market movement stuff, and also look at some price predictions for Team of the Year cards early on. I want to look at some of those and look at some graphs for that as well. But let's get right into it because there's a lot of stuff that we need to talk about today. All right, so these Team of the Year nominee cards, uh, we'll talk about those a little bit later in the video at some point as well. But they're kind of like out-of-pack special cards, so they kind of fall in with the category of what other informs Road to the Finals and Screen cards might do during this promo. But I'm, I kind of want to actually start at the lower end. So we're going to look at SBC fodder, stuff that's going to be in packs during Team of the Year. Talk about some market movements we could see with those, depending on what SBCs come out. And then, of course, move on to the upper tier cards and then do price predictions as well. So let's look at everyone's favorite 83 card from FIFA 19 to invest in. Kagawa, Shinji Kagawa, however you say his name. Uh, I want to look at the 83s and look at the fodder prices from last year and look at those during um, Team of the Year. Because basically, we're going to look through all types of cards today, what kind of stuff rose, and talk about the mar market movements that happened during Team of the Year. So 83 Kagawa. Last year, last year during Team of the Year, I mean, the SBCs that we got, uh, I have these tabs open from a previous re video that I uh, oh, uh, recorded. Team of the Year challenges, we were getting pack supply SBCs every single day, trying to keep in check some of these cards and also supply cards onto the market. Um, we had the upgrade packs that were out, so there was not really a shortage of um, like fodder supply, like 83s, 84s, 85s, 86s. Those were getting supplied on the market a lot through these SBCs and through these upgrade SBCs that people were doing. And there weren't that many SBCs that came out that really required them, right? I mean, we had the Tevez from last year. Uh, we had the, the flashback Zlatan. We had Bale, which was expensive. We had Versalco, which some people did. We had the Centurion David Silva and another flashback SBC or two. But other than that, there just wasn't a ton of market movements for the 83s. And as you can see, last year during Team of the Year, which started on January 7th, uh, when Jan January 7th happens, this card is up for whatever SBC came out just before that. And during the lightning rounds and during all the pack supply, this 83 rated Kagawa actually goes down to 800 coins. 800 coins! And it goes up to, like, right at the end of the promo, it goes over 1,000. So, uh, a lot of the 83s, and when I looked on some of the stuff, a lot of the 83s and some of the lower rated fodders, 82s and 83s, didn't move too much. And that could change this year if we get a Team of the, uh, team of the Week SBC during Team of the Year. That is possible, I would think. Uh, but I wouldn't expect to, to do much more than just do a club stock on these cards during Team of the Year. And we'll, of course, do some more in-depth preparation as we get closer to Team of the Year and as we figure out more stuff. But just for now, we're looking at some of the, the trends from last year. 86 Otamendi. Now, these cards were, rose up a little bit more, right? Because there were Icon SBCs that were out that were um, demand for these cards. Um, and people wanted to do... These those SBCs in this game, they were grinding towards those SBCs. This year we don't have um, Icon SBCs, but we do have Player of the Month, and we have a Player of the Month Messi that is in the store right now or in the SBC section that is actually going to be there. Is this going to be there when um, when where where's Messi at? Where's Messi right here? Messi has ten days remaining, so he's actually he's actually not going to be out during Team of the Year, which is probably smart on EA's part. Uh, so me this Player of the Month Messi will not be out during Team of the Year, but like Player of the Month Timo Werner will be there. Doesn't really have a huge demand in this game, but I presume there will be a new Player of the Month coming out for these other leagues and uh, some other high-rated flashbacks or 
team of the year nominee SBCs, kind of like they did last year, that will keep some of these uh, higher rateds in check, right? EA doesn't just let these go to waste because they know if they're putting out upgrade packs and daily pack SBCs, that they need to give somebody, they need to give people in this game some option to put these cards into SBCs. So it looks like last year, early on in the week, was when these cards hit their lowest. 86 is last year at 16 or 17k was basically a steal, especially for a guy like Odomendi with the links that he has. So watch those, watch the high rated fodder the first couple days of team of the year before we get SBCs. Like that first day when the attackers came into packs last year, he got cheap because there weren't any SBCs that came out that required high rateds. Uh, so that's why those got cheap. And then they rose uh, later into the promo as we got more SBCs and people were doing SBCs with the cards that they packed. So that's a that's a good thing to keep an eye on. Probably we're looking at like an early an early team of the year time frame, like the first day or two to maybe do a club stock on high rateds if they get low. Uh, let's look at some icons because these are going to be in packs as well during team of the year, right? The icons are in packs. We're going to have the middles and we're going to have the primes in packs this year. The babies will be out of packs. So I want to talk about those, uh, but we'll talk about the in packs icons first, like this Maka Lele from last year. Very good card in this game. Obviously, some people might want to substitute him for a um, team of the year Conte possibly, um, but this is kind of a guy who's not really on that level of team of the year Conte because Team Leader Conte came out last year. He's like, what, 3 million coins or whatever? Two, two point something. This card's 600K. So two totally different price ranges. And this guy's an icon. One of the, one of a, kind of like a middle of the road icon. But he, you can tell right here that he has a lot of demand on this game. Because look at this. Right before Team of the Year starts. Team of the Year starts on the 7th. He's 643K. We're on Thursday. The man is 638,000 coins when the full team of the year goes in packs. And right after that, over the weekend and after team of the year ends, in the next week, the man goes from 630,000 coins all the way up to almost 800K before we start the Future Stars promo right there on the 18th. Uh, so I would expect to see a pretty high rebound on icons like this last year. I mean, why does this rebound this much? Well, personally, it's because... People get a lot of coins after team of the year, right? I've mentioned the team of the year, the post team of the year market is actually very comparable to post Black Friday. All the icon or all the all the icons come on the game. People are opening packs, lighting rounds, a ton of coins are entering the game. People are getting coins from opening packs and uh, pulling cards off the market. And the market is just generally richer, right? Because there are packs opened off of the store. Uh, which gets people coins from, you know, just quick selling those items is where the market really earns the coins, but then, um, you know, just rising the market as well because of all the, the coins that are coming onto the game uh, right there. So that's where you see a lot of the stuff go up, and we'll look at some informs as well that did that, but this is a very meta, meta and usable icon. Now, this year, maybe somebody like Carlos Alberto, which if I could type his name incorrectly, uh, would be somebody to look at. For the babies that are out of packs, I like to look at this card a lot because he's still very highly uh, desired in this game. He was, after Black Friday, this man was 1.1 million coins almost. Now he's back down to 811k and he's out of packs. If you see this guy again get panic sold, headed into uh, team of the year, cards like these, the baby cards like a Del Piero, maybe a Zola, maybe um, somebody like Zambrata possibly with a right back um uh, baby card the baby cards that have, are of course like position changes and very highly valued in this game that are out of packs those cards could have another big chance at a rise potential after team of the year if of course if they're meta and a lot of people want to use them in their teams uh, so that could be that would be a place where you would want to look uh, in the panic selling headed into team of the year or at the beginning of team of the year with some of these cards but icons definitely do rise um, as we head out of as we head out of team of the year, or in, out of team of the year, and uh, after that, because people want to get those cards in their teams and they have coins, but they're going to be great to trade with and to look on the market and snag during lightning rounds. And again, a lot of this stuff, again, we we talk about trading during lightning rounds a lot because there's a lot of lightning rounds in this game. Um, but like basic chem style icon filters will be huge during team of the year, especially on that first day when people have saved up packs and whenever team of the years come into packs, people just can't control themselves and they open up their packs that right away for that first day, no matter what is in packs. So we talked about icons. We've talked about SBC fodder. Let's talk about out of packs in forms and especially road to the final cards and how I think those could actually be different this year than the price, uh, movements that we saw last year. So 
inform Conte of last year. This is one I was really intrigued with uh, because if you think about this inform from last year, Conte, I mean, he had his gold card, right? And he has this inform, which is a cool, nice, upgraded version of his card. And then he has the team of the year. So we're talking like a huge price difference from this inform, which is during team of the year. Right before team of the year, we're talking 780,000 coins. The team of the year comes out and boom, he's like, what, two something, three million coins. That's a huge price difference. Not everybody can afford that. So there's a lot of buyback on informs like this. Now, it doesn't look as drastic on a card like Conte uh, because I think a lot of people just use this gold card. Um, but he was 780,000 coins at the Monday of team of the year. And after that week, he rose all the way up to 850K. So almost 100,000 coin rise on a card like this. I would say that if it's a really meta card this year, like if KD, KDB has a lot of other special cards in this game. So the, a card that could get in team of the year that has not as many special cards could be De Young. I know he has a ones to watch and an inform, but his inform is team of the week one and it doesn't have a ton of supply. So maybe that's a card you could look at this year. Of course, any of the center backs that get in, if like Sergio Ramos gets in, we would definitely be looking at his group stage card um, and possibly group stage card and possibly the team of the year nominee. Uh, if this card does get into team of the year, he's 176 with all the panic. You know, if you see this guy drop down to like under 175K again, even though this card has a lot of supply and so does this one, uh, these cards could be pretty solid pickups if it, if he does get a team of the year and this card's price is like, you know, 1.82 million coins on the market during team of the year. That's a huge price discrepancy. People will go out and probably just snag one of these instead. So that's something to look forward to. And again, out of packs informs. I think I had another example. Maybe I didn't. Um, out of packs informs temp or typically do pretty well during this promo. But as is the case with a lot of out of pack stuff, you have to buy it earlier on. Now, again, when we looked at these cards, let's go back to the short time frame. When you looked at the lowest price that Conte was, he was the lowest on the Sunday and Monday, like at the beginning of team of the year, right? So you have week and league sell off and the panic of people and team of the year starting right away as kind of like the pinpoint buy time for a lot of these out of packs cards. And I would say that would probably be similar this year as well, um, because a lot of the out of pack stuff, people open their packs. They do whatever, and then they go out and they buy their teams because they opened all their packs. They don't know what else to do. There's a couple SBCs they can do, but then they're just impatient. They have a team they want to buy, and they go buy it. So if you're looking at out-of-pack stuff, we're, look, we're talking screen cards, um, maybe this year's set of Road to the Finals and stuff like that, I would say get on those sooner rather than later when we are starting to talk about stuff like um, Team of the Year uh, out-of-packs special cards. Now, speaking of these Road to the Finals, I want to look at a couple cards from last year and talk about their price movements during that time last year. Antoine Griezmann's 92 rated card. You see here, the game's in December. He goes up to 1.5 million coins, drops off in the panic. We are basically in this range right now in FIFA. Those cards were really high. They got their upgrade. They've dropped since in price. And we're just kind of in this lull period, which I feel like is going to go pretty similar to last year between the upgrade periods, right? So Griezmann last year got his upgrade here, went to 1.5, didn't get upgraded again until February, went all the way back up to 1.6 because he did get that upgrade. And then people wanted to use that card again and it had the hype because of the upgrade. But in between this middle time, it's like a mountain and a valley, man. It's crazy. Like, look at this valley of price here. During team of the year, he dips down a little bit. Um, and then you start to see him slowly rise kind of as we head up into um, the next upgrades. Same thing with Kempembe, another very us usable and meta card that came out during, uh, that was out for Road to the Final. Now, the only thing that I see different with these cards this year, and as you can look at these graphs, you're saying, okay, well, they're pretty low. I can probably wait to pick them up until the end of January, which I would say, yes, you would probably want to pick these up during the end of January um, if, the thing if the graphs were going to work according to last year. But the thing about these cards this year is they're so stinking rare. These Road to the Final cards are so stinking rare in this game this year uh, that their price movements, I think you guys want to probably, if you want one of these for your team, you're going to want to pick it up sooner rather than later at that beginning of the team of the year time frame, right? We talked about Sunday night, maybe Saturday night or Monday for the beginning of team of the year to be maybe a buy time for some of these cards because I feel like Especially a guy like Allen, especially a guy like Militao, possibly Conte if he doesn't get into the team of the year. Maybe even a Sancho or Juan Jesus, right? Some of these guys that are really meta and used in a ton of people's teams. 
I think you will see them rise after Team of the Year, uh, even though that might be a short time span between Team of the Year and, and um, Future Stars. I do think that these cards will rise this year just based on how freaking rare they are. As long as they don't get put into packs again, um, then I think we're fine. But I don't really see that happening. We'll see what happens. But that could be a buy time for these Road to the Final cards uh, if they don't get put into packs again at any point before this video comes out or even after this video comes out before they get their next upgrade. So that's something to be careful of and to think about. Uh, as if you want any of these in your team, I do think they could have a high chance at rising um, in that pre-Black Friday time or pre-Team of the Year time frame. Scream cards as well. So some of these Scream cards in this game, like Firmino, I would expect this card to have a massive rise after Team of the Year because this is basically a Team of the Year item, right? There's probably going to be a couple Liverpool guys that get into Team of the Year. And the fact that this guy has really not dropped that much at all is insane. It just shows that this card is so good in this game. And it's so rare. So if you see this guy get somewhere down closer to like 820, like closer to 800,000 coins, that would be an insane buy for me on this card because I think he's going to actually, he could very possibly go to a million after team of the year, in my opinion. This card could be easily a million coins for the Hullet gang. Hard stats, he's from Mino. Uh, good links. He's from Liverpool, obviously. Links in a lot of people's teams. So that would be a card you'd want to pick up in the pre team of the year sort of market crash or market downturn when we do start to see that so that's kind of how you could expect some of the market movements to work on these cards i know that's a kind of a an overview we looked at a lot of card types today um but we'll cover more like individual and in-depth things as we do get closer to team of the year now for the last minute or so or two minutes of this video i want to look at some price predictions on team of the year cards this year for FIFA 20, right? Now, obviously, last year, um, some of these guys were meta, some of these guys were not meta, and stuff like that. So here's Messi. Here's what happened to Messi last year. We're gonna look at like the first three months, right? The first three months of these cards. Messi comes out right away. He's like 5.5 million coins, and uh, he's in the packs first day, right? So he's in packs one day, he goes from 5.4 to 5.7, goes back into packs for the weekend, hits his lowest on like Sunday when he's in packs, goes from 5 million to 5-1. A lot of people bought these cards right here, and then boom, future stars come out, and the man goes down to 4.6 million. So that was crazy that we had those future stars that came out last year, and a lot of these cards took hits. Again, he dropped down again as we can continue to go through the year. And that's kind of the, the normal market trend with these cards last year, when you look at most of these team of the years, is most of them, kind of went down after they were in packs, which is nice for EA and what they want, right? But then you do have some of them that are just so valuable in this game that they do rise out of packs and they do have some crazy fluctuations later on in the year, like this Team of the Year Ronaldo card, who was arguably like the best card in the game last year at the end of the year. I used him, he was so freaking fun to use. Uh, so the man was 8.5 million, went almost up to 10 before he went out of packs. So this is crazy, right? If we see this again this year, this year I think this would happen with Messi. Um, even though Messi has a player of the month card, which I want to talk about, we'll talk about Messi again here in just a second, but maybe if this happens again with Messi or Mbappe or Neymar, if, if one of those three get into team of the year, you might see this sort of rise from the first day that they're in packs and until like the day before they go back in, if attackers happen first, right? You could see something like that happen this year uh, where they are kind of low because they get packed and then they rise up because they're rare and people want to use them. Then they come back into packs again. So uh, then obviously, as you see, after team of the year, this card does drop a little bit, 7.1. He, he goes back up to 8 million. So this card was 7 million coins last year. I think a team of the Ronaldo this year, I do feel like he gets in, but I feel like this card is somewhere more around the ranges of like a million to two, 2 million coins less than he was last year. So first day Ronaldo this year is maybe 7 million. And then in this time frame, he maybe drops from like 5, 5 to 5.5, maybe 6 million coins in this time frame. And in my opinion, I think he would be there. And I think Messi would actually take a step up in price from where he was last year. So he started off at 5-4. Um, if, if Messi's team of the year card is centrally positioned like this one is last year, that would have massive, massive effects to his card price. I think he would be more expensive if he was a center forward because then you could move him up and down from striker to center mid or CDM. I think that would give his card a lot of value because his other cards on FIFA 20, a lot of people did that player of the month Messi, right? Uh, and I think that could hurt Messi's value a little bit. 
there's a lot of versions of Messi, especially untradeable one, that people are going to be rocking for the rest of the year this year. This card right here, Player of the Month Messi, um, people are probably going to rock this for the rest of the year. They did the SBC and they're like, boom, I got my Messi. I'm good for the year. So this SBC might hurt his price a little bit. And especially if we see a second Player of the Month Messi for the month of December. Not sure how possible that is, but he had a good start to the month. So we'll see what happens in December. Uh, or in early January for a Messi player of the month. But that could hurt this card's value again. I hope it's centrally positioned, though, when we're talking about Messi. I hope that this card will be centrally positioned. I think that would help a lot of people squad building out as well in teams that they want to they want to build up. But this card, again, if it's centrally positioned, I do think it could be around 5 to 6 to maybe even 7 million if it's centrally positioned early on. Maybe drop to like 5 six, or to like maybe 4, and it's very lowest. Very lowest. I feel like that'd be, that'd be pretty low, but... We'll see what happens this year with the panic selling for future stars. I feel like people shouldn't panic sell as much for future stars this year. That could be interesting. Um, but Messi will get a 99 rated card this year because Modric last year won the award. I forget the actual name of the award. It's not Ballon d'Or, but like the player of the year or best of best of, I think is, I forget it, what it was. Maybe it was Ballon d'Or. Um, I'm not up to date on my football awards at the moment, but Modric won that award last year. Messi won it this year. I do think he'll get a 99 rated. Ronaldo would probably be 99 rated. Uh, Mbappe, I do think, could get in this year as well. Um, and that would be a card that a lot of people want to use. And I think this year's team of this year's team of the year Mbappe could be a striker position. So that would be another card that a lot of people would want to get their hands on. And I do think it could affect his price a little bit, maybe even closer to the 5 million range. We're talking like earlier on, closer to 5 million instead of the 3 million that he was or 4 million that he was last year. So overall, though, I think team of the year will be pretty pricey this year, especially with all the packs coming out of the game. Uh, you know, you've seen people pay crazy amount of money for these prime icons as they have come onto the market. I mean, we have guys that are paying like 15 million coins for prime Zidane who is currently on the market at 14. So I've seen this guy sell at like 15 million coins. People are paying stupid amounts of money for Prime Pele. Uh, I think this guy was on the market for 15 million. Ooh, he's at 11 now. Interesting. Interesting. So people are paying crazy amounts for these Prime icons that are just new into packs. And that just tells me there's a lot of coins on this game. So I do think that people would pay a lot for the new Team of the Year cards this year year whoever does get in it's going to be interesting to see who gets in we should have some different guys in this year's team of the year right like uh De Gea probably won't get in i would expect like allison to get in i hope that de young gets in i don't think Majic will be in there this year maybe conte de bruyne and de young with delict possibly van dyke ramos and then maybe robertson or trent on the back line as well i kind of hope that we get three center backs to be honest boys i'm okay with three center backs and then one of the outside like a left back or right back personally I would kind of be a fan of that. And then up top, I honestly have no idea what's going to happen with uh, Ronaldo, Messi, Neymar, Mbappe, you know, some of those guys. Mane as well, people think have an outside, outside shot, which would be interesting. So we'll see what happens with that vote and all that stuff. But hopefully this guys helps you. Hopefully this helps you guys, if I could speak correctly. Hopefully this helps you guys get prepared and get ready for some things that you could see on the market for team of the year, kind of stuff to expect and all sorts of things like that it's gonna be awesome man team of the year is such a fun promo in this game hopefully you guys are getting ready for it it's coming soon and hopefully this video helps you get prepared for it if you like the video smash a thumbs up on it of course comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe to the channel if you're new it's been nate the foot accountant catch you guys later peace out